Oh my god, I freaking knew it. Oh hell no. Oh my god, can you freaking see that? This just got spot welded. Oh hell no, I messed up this knife. This this lovely knife. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Wednesday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is a DIY full bridge rectifier, so let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Let's freaking go. So check this out, I already prepared everything, got my transformer ready and if you remember, I compared this transformer in this vlog to switch mode transformers and to recap this vlog, I won't be using this transformer for my flat power supply because this massive iron core will draw energy all the time. It's fairly wasteful, it's outdated technology, but nevertheless, this is a high quality and also powerful transformer. Look at all these different voltages I can create with this thing, up to 10 freaking amps, let's go. But most of my applications, they need a direct current, so I need to rectify this. I already made the cable for the input for the AC for my wall outlets, connects to these two poles right here. And then I already prepared these two with crimp slip-ons. <laughs> Don't know how to call them, I'm sorry. And right here I have a full bridge rectifying diode. AC goes in here and DC comes out here. And after the rectification, I also want to include a few capacitors. Well, I actually have quite a few. I have six capacitors right here with 10,000 microfarads. So that is quite a lot. This thing is actually quite over oversized, overpowered. Goes up to 1000 volts and 35 amps if I'm correct. This only goes up to 10 amps and these only go up to 50 volts. So this is actually like perfect for this transformer. And somewhere uh, right here I have a 10 amp fuse. So just in case I will include this fuse somewhere. Yeah, somewhere for a bit of safety. So now I need to drill a hole in this heat sink, put a bit of heat paste on, mount this, drill a few holes in this plate, mount everything, come up with a nice solid rail for the capacitors probably just like i did it here something like that i guess so yeah this is gonna be an exciting project so let's go and here it is that's the final the well the finished build and from the build itself it looks pretty aesthetic to me, it looks pleasing to my eye, it looks pretty dope in my opinion. With the transformer, input cable, AC, AC comes out of this transformer, goes into the rectifier, rectification goes to the capacitors. There is my fuse, 10 amps, and I really love bending these wires, I just, it's just so fun. Goes through the capacitors and out these wires with this, you know, funny wrap that I learned to love. <laughs> And then that's the output right here and well it's how it looks like well maybe this cable here is a bit too long actually but it's not it's not too bad it would be nicer if this would be like more like this but yeah it's not too bad oh yeah and underneath this heatsink i screwed it down with a screw and a washer just to fix it in place because i don't want to weaken these connections over time yeah that's that's the build right there Oh yeah, this looks like a good thumbnail right here. So, and the last thing that's left for me to find out is, does it actually work? Very long cable. So, here goes nothing. Oh my God, it actually makes a, some sort of a noise. Is this just my imagination? Oh my God, where is this coming from? Oh, it's actually coming from the boxes. Oh my God, this is crazy. When I plug this in, it actually starts with a hum. It's very faint though, very faint. This is crazy. So and now I need to measure this output right here. I have plugged it in into 1 and 15. This will give us 12 volt. For this I will use this jack. Let's plug it in because this will be easy to measure with the plus and the minus. This way I can also check the polarity. Hello, please focus. There it is, plus and minus. Let's get the probes going. Oh my god. Oh god, I love one-handed action. And 18? Why is this freaking... It's freaking 18. This might be 
because there is no load it should be 12 volts though 15 21 is 15 though it's clearly 18 to me okay now it's 15 and 21 which should give us 18 volts so let's see about that just like that this is giving us 28 volts okay yeah this is definitely because there is no load going the rectification process well the capacitors actually will cap the rectification at the peak which is in this case 28 volts even though it should be 20, uh, 18 volts, but when there is a load going, then this will drop. So hell yeah, this thing is actually working, which is great. It, it's a bit dangerous though, because this is like freaking, oh my God. Also, there is probably a massive something, something going on. Oh my God. Oh my God, I freaking knew it. Oh hell no. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. It just got... It just got, f oh my god, oh my god, can you freaking see that? This just got spot welded. Oh hell no, I messed up this knife, this this lovely knife. It got spot welded to the wire. Oh my god, this seems to be really freaking dangerous. It, now there should be, okay, now we're good. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> I will show it to my grandpa, maybe he can give me some ideas and advice. Oh my god, well actually, Never mind, maybe, because it's only 28 volts. So this is like low current. It shouldn't be dangerous. There is still a lot of energy stored in these capacitors, but for me, like touching it, I think it's not dangerous. I think so. The only thing that's dangerous is actually this part right here. I knew that there would be a bit of energy left in these capacitors, but it was actually pretty intense. Jesus. But well, that was a successful project. Indeed, exciting and fun. <laughs> Oh my god, there is a freaking hole in this knife. I can't believe what it just did to this knife. This is unreal. Oh my god, it's just sparked interesting ideas. That pando, freaking hell. Okay, that's enough progress for today. Oh, oh my god, but first, now that I'm finished with this project, look at my room. All cleaned up and uh, stuff. I came back to excellence and now I return to excellence so that I can return to excellence for the next project. But anyways, smash that like button the way my knife just got smashed by current. Damn! Bang the bell like crap pop, to never miss DIY vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>